Haunted Mansion is a peculiar mishmash of supernatural elements, comedic bits, and convoluted storytelling that leaves you feeling like you've just been through a haunted maze, disoriented and slightly amused by the chaos. At its core, this film centers on the tale of Gabby and her son Travis, who move into the infamous Gracie Manor with dreams of turning it into a bed and breakfast. Little do they know, the mansion is already occupied by a slew of mischievous spirits. When astrophysicist Ben Matthias is hired by a priest exorcist Father Kent to capture ghostly images in the mansion, things take a bizarre turn. As they join forces with a psychic named Harriet and a haunted house historian named Professor Bruce Davis, they uncover a labyrinthine history involving a ghostly seance room, the trapped spirit of Madame Leota, and a malevolent entity known as the Hatbox Ghost. While the premise has potential, the execution feels like Disney magic gone wrong. The film dabbles in too many genres, attempting to blend supernatural horror, comedy, family drama, and even revenge tale elements. It's as if Disney threw all these ingredients into a cauldron and hoped for the best. The result is a brew that lacks cohesion and leaves you wondering if the filmmakers were aiming for confusion as a scare tactic. Despite the film's substantial budget, most of it seems to have been spent on flashy special effects and CGI spectacles, leaving the story and characters underdeveloped. The scares are tepid, the humor often falls flat, and the emotional depth is about as profound as a ghost's fleeting presence. The characters themselves are disappointingly one-dimensional, with the talented cast doing their best to breathe life into them. Stanfield and Dawson give commendable performances, but their characters are trapped in a narrative that never quite finds its footing. The supporting cast, including the always charismatic Haddish and Wilson, do what they can with the material, but the script ultimately lets them down. Haunted Mansion could have been a memorable Disney adventure, but it falls into the realm of mediocrity. If you're a diehard Disney fan, you might find some nostalgic charm in the film's nods to the theme park attraction. However, if you're seeking a coherent and satisfying cinematic experience, this ghostly escapade might just leave you haunted by its missed potential.